and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a soap using this fragrance from Nature's Garden, Coconut Lime Verbena. Ooh, it is nice. The lime is very, I think that's the top notes in this. The coconut and the verbena is kind of a subtle, herby sort of underlying. It's it's sweet, it's tart, I think it's fabulous. Got good reviews, I've never soaked with this before, that it didn't cause discoloration, rising, any problems or acceleration, so I'm hoping that's the case. And of course, being a coconut lime fragrance, we're gonna do coconut milk, <laughs> I've got to. So for the colors, let's talk about that. We got coconut and lime are what I'm thinking. So to represent the coconut, sort of that brown husky outside of a coconut, I have my gingerbread brown mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it's lovely and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it it's beautiful so that's going to be my coconut brown so i've got the brown and for the lime i have my let me see lime green mojito did i say that right yes lime green mojito <laughs> which is such a funny name but look at that isn't that pretty there we go that's gonna be the color swirl in this uh, coconut milk i'll do the milk and oil method i haven't figured out what I want to do on top yet, but it'll come to me as we're working and see how this fragrance behaves. Um, I might do some piping or maybe a chevron swirl. I don't know. It'll come to me as we're working. The scent just will kind of speak to me. <laughs> I don't know. Every soap sort of has a personality once you get into it and start making it. Sometimes soap has a mind of its own. So let me get everything pulled together. Let's come back and uh, start making this coconut lime verbena soap. All right, we are back to add the additives in. It's additives time. So I'm gonna do colloidal oats and kaolin clay along with the coconut milk in oil method. Um, that is it for the additives today. And I already have the fragrance in here. So, and it smells so nice. So I, on the, let me just show you here. After I pour this in, I wanna show you something. <laughs> uh, the name of this is coconut lime verbena but it's spelled verbana with two a's verbana but i looked it up and googled it and it said verbena so is this something different i'm curious i'm saying verbena am i saying it wrong it smells fantastic <laughs> either way so i'm going to get these additives blended in please let me know if i'm saying it incorrectly in the comments down below and we'll come back after this is blended up when it's time to make this soap We're back to make soap and here is my lye solution that has cane sugar tussa silk fibers and sodium lactate oops in it and i did make this yesterday so it has a little lye lint i'm going to run it through my strainer to keep any chunks out of the soap because nobody wants that it actually wouldn't hurt anything and they would probably blend in but who wants to take a chance you know we don't want those in there so let me get this off and we will get this up to emulsion. I already have my colors pre-dispersed in a little bit of distilled water ready to go. And it smells so nice. <laughs> I just hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly.
next day and I'm very anxious to get in here. See how the in the pot swirl came out. I did come down earlier and steam the top. There was no soda ash, but it was a little dull and you know, I wanted that chevron top to really sparkle. So there it is. And this smells so good. <laughs> and I just think I'm gonna call this coconut lime because that's what I smell, and which smells fantastic, right? Can you go wrong with coconuts and lime? But anyway, let's get in here. I loved how this fragrance behaved. It was uh, nice to work with. It, it firmed up, you know, relatively, not a fast trace, but not a slow trace. So that was all good. So anyway, and I love a good coconut milk soap. So anxious to see how that inside came out. Let's get in here and see what we've got. Olga here to get into these bars and see what we've got going on the inside. Love the top, love the colors. Let's get in here. So yeah, <laughs> I'm still not sure if I'm saying verbena right or if verbana is a different thing or if they're spelling it different because of copyrights. I'm still confused about all that. And pronunciation is important, um, especially here on YouTube. I will get called out if I say something the wrong way. You all are Good about letting me know. Oh, that's pretty. Very subtle. Let's get in here a little farther. Um, things like, okay, I grew up saying calendula for that herb. And then I met people that absolutely swear it's calendula. And I'm like, what? I thought it was calendula. And I Google it and it says calendula. And they're like, no, it's calendula. I'm like, oh, for pity's sake. So <laughs> there are some words that people will disagree on how to pronounce. I still say calendula. That's just how I say it. Google, Google and I agree. But <laughs> so if you're a calendula person, I, you know, <laughs> don't get mad at me for saying calendula. And there are a couple others I can't think off the top of my head. But anyway, the spelling of that verbana versus verbena on this fragrance. Either way, smells fantastic. I think these are really cool. They're kind of natural and, I don't know, herby looking. I'm very happy with these. They look kind of, I don't know, wild jungle. I love the side swirl here too. Really nice. And of course, all the good stuff in there. Coconut milk soap, I think has a, just a fantastic lather. I really love it. I love how it feels. I love the lather. So all good. All right, let's get into this center loaf. This is interesting, that big blob. I'm anxious to see what that looks like on the inside. This side is very swirly. I thought of another one. Um, I say vanillin. And uh, somebody had said it's supposed to be vanillin. But I say vanillin. <laughs> and I've heard other soapers say vanillin. So that's another one. Do you say vanillin or vanillin? I don't know. It's kind of like, what syllable do you use? <laughs> we used to joke about syllables being syllables because people can get all, you know. It's funny, language is a curious thing. The English language, of course, I was born here. I spoke English all my life, but apparently it's a very difficult language. Um, I don't know how to speak any other languages, which I, think is a shame. I absolutely admire people that are bilingual, multilingual. Oh my word, I am so impressed with that. So impressed. Um, I think it's fabulous. And I love when little children are raised in multilingual homes. They pick it up so fast. Kids are so, they're just like little sponges and they pick up languages so fast. It's a challenge for us older people. All right, there's the big brown dot. So this one gets a lot of coconut with its lime. <laughs> I think it's still pretty though. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going off on languages. I love language. I love reading. I love all of it, but I am not bilingual, and that is a shame to me. I think you all out there that can speak multiple languages are so impressive. I am completely impressed with you. All right, I'm going to keep cutting. Let's get into our last loaf here. Mm, it's smelling good in the studio today. Just nice. 
Ooh, that's cool. And these little end pieces that I cut off go in my um, bundles, my soap end bundles. They're about a quarter of a bar and I stack them for uh, four of these in a bundle so it's about the same size as a whole bar and you get a mix and match so if you ever go to my shop and see soap and bundles that's what's in there and then out of this side this big end piece here I cut into a quarter size for the bundle and my sample bars so that is what I do with these end pieces all right oh these are fun so I'm gonna get these all over on the drying rack for a few hours. I'll come back in for the beveling and stamping. You know how I do it. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me today. Lots of coconut in this one. <laughs> I really appreciate you taking the time. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so you don't miss anything going on in the soap studio. And I hope you have a wonderful day.